Welcome to the second race of the series, the Golden Trail World Series. You recognize this? Yeah, you do. We're in Chamonix for the Marathon de Mont Blanc. This year, they're actually changing the course. Last year, there's a loop that because of COVID, they don't have anymore. If you don't know why that's important, you've got some attitude, buddy. But listen up, it's really important because it's going to change the race potentially today. They've reversed the course, and that means they're taking on the Col de Possette in a different direction. That means it's only 38 kilometers, which runners like Andy Wacker, who are specialists in the road, they had the opportunity to get out fast and potentially hold on. But also, instead of a steep descent, there's a steep ascent. So people like Remy Bonnet really stand a chance, and it plays well for Davide as well, last year's champion. In the women, there's no Oyana. There's no Judith, but we do have Maud Mathis returning. She won it in 2012, and she said this is a really special race for her, and she was looking so strong at Nuria. We also have Anna Sabria returning for her first race of this season. We have Eliane, who came third last time in Chamonix, and we also have Fanny Bergstrom, who suffered from altitude in Nuria. They both need to make sure people know who they are for this series. I said Nuria was going to be the race of the season. I lied. Keep watching. It seems there is a party here. <laughs> Music fight <laughs> between <laughs> Remy and Stian. I'm brushing my teeth now. <laughs> Bottle. Maybe you should Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Like the, the mandatory equipment with the speaker. Usually there's no uh, no written uh, rule to don't arrive after your beep number. Let's hope it's like this. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Time to go. Here at the 5k mark, we really thought Andy Wacker was going to go out fast, but the men were all together. Every single person who we think could win today is in the same group. You couldn't tell if any of them were looking strong, if any of them were looking weak, but what I do know is that Davide was looking more fluid than he did three weeks ago, which is good for him. In the women, Maud was, wow, already way ahead, and we're only 5k in. Second, Blondine was looking smooth. She came fourth three weeks ago, so she clearly wants the podium. And first race of the season, Anes is in third. Behind that, actually there was quite a gap already. They still haven't hit the big hills, so it's early. But could that be our podium this early in the race? Let's wait and find out.
base of the Col de Pesset. It's about 90 minutes into the run. In first was Bart, he was looking strong. Stian was close behind, he got to the crowd and started cheering, he's really in good spirits and Davide wasn't far behind. Remy was in fourth by the top, but by the bottom Thibaut had caught him up. So Thibaut at the moment is looking like he'll be third or fourth. Followed behind, we have Mr. Puppy coming. He's already run a 2.16 marathon this season, so he'll be tracking them down. In the ladies, Maud is far and away the favorite. She had a two and a half minute lead by the top. I think she stretched that a little bit. Anes has taken second place. She looks strong. Unfortunately though, Blundine, who was in second near the top, she reached him in third, she shook her head, she kind of gave a look to the crowd as if she was going to stop. She looked a little bit injured. I don't think she's going to finish this race, unfortunately. Hopefully she will do. In fourth, we have Marcella coming through. I think she'll be in third by the next checkpoint. And behind that, it's really, really close. So I don't think the top five is decided yet. It's going to be a tight race. Okay, I don't mind running downhills, but I'm not good with heights. <laughs> we need to get to the finish before they do. Oh, pray for me. Oh, breathing. This is Mont Blanc, I promise you. It's starting to rain, but the race is still out there. Wow, it's gonna be a really long day. But our finish is at home, and it turned out being the race we were hoping for. Bart took an early lead, and on that first descent, got a bit of a gap. But Stian, the winner of the last race, was smiling from the start. He then took control, and he was smiling to the finish. Davide, last time he won, he came back, he wanted the win again, but he couldn't quite catch up. He managed second place and Bart held on for third. With the women, Maud, Maud, Maud. It's more Maud. She couldn't be stopped. She said she was feeling a bit tight before, but actually she flew from the start. But we've got Anais making her presence today. First race of the season, she came in second. She is someone who can be real competition for Maud as the season progresses. And in third place, Blondine Howe. At the end of the first descent, she was finished. She looked at me, she looked at the crowd, she said no, but she fought the whole way home. This is really impressive racing from her. To be third on a bad day shows that when she's back on form, she can be challenging. This has been Mont Blanc. We'll see you next time. The next race of the season is the Dolomis Run in two weeks time. That is nowhere near long enough. It's only 21 kilometers, but it's steep, steep, steep. Very technical and 1700 meters of climbing. Their muscles will not be ready within two weeks. I will be, make sure you are. We'll see you then. 
The third stage of the Golden Trail World Series is coming in hot in Italy. The athletes will have to face the world's famous Coulard of Hell with its 1,750 meters of elevation gain up to Pisboe. And once they are at the top, they have to deal with the wildest downhill of the whole series. See you on the 18th of July in the Dolomites for the third stage of the Golden Trail World Series.